The 2022 Disca Excellence in Construction Unique Project Award goes to Task Contracting for their work at the Bergen County Rowing Center in Lynnhurst, New Jersey. Uh, when we arrived on site, the cast in place concrete and the structural steel had already been uh, completed. We typically work off of a foundation and from the ground up, hand in hand with the steel structure. Working within the constraints of the cast in place concrete was a challenge because we did not have complete flexibility of where our framing went or we were very limited in the adjustments we could make. Such adjustments are critical in order to have both interior and exterior finishes correctly aligned. The cast-in-place concrete is, in itself, rather unique, but was necessary because of the building's location on the bank of the Passaic River, an area prone to flooding. During floods, the structure is designed to sustain little if any damage and even incorporates floodgates to allow water pressure to equalize between the inside and outside of the building's first floor. In other words, much of the rowing center's first floor can be completely flooded with little to no damage. TAS was responsible for many aspects of the building's construction, starting with the cold-formed metal framing. They then applied gypsum sheathing to the framing, followed shortly thereafter with blue skin wrapping. A uh, majority of the project exterior and heavy gauge framing were completed over the winter. Uh, being by the river, we had a high winds and some extremely cold temperatures um, and very little heat and shelter from the cold, but we managed to stay on track and complete our project. On the building's second floor interior, TAS was responsible not only for the metal framing, but the drywall, acoustical ceilings, frame doorways, and hardware. TAS's work on both the center's exterior and interior is exemplary. Despite some of the difficulties posed by the cast-in-place concrete first floor, they were able to bring everything into alignment. The six-inch wide metal plank ceilings on the underside of overhangs, both curved and flat, large and small, were installed to absolute perfection. These ceilings are a wonderful accent, as the building's one of those structures that when you approach it, just draws your eyes upward. The back side of the building, facing the Basaic, is almost as spectacular as the front, with large glass garage doors that allow easy access to the boats and oars stored within. It also has an expansive porch for viewing races and activities and for hosted events. Gangways extend from the center's rear patio down to floating docks where rowers are easily able to launch their skulls. Skulls, oars, and gear are stored on racks in the building's first floor. You can see how the floodwaters could flow in and out with little effect. Going upstairs to the building's second floor, TASS's precision drywall work begins to show. Much of it required level 5 finishes to back tile mosaic murals and continuous sheet vinyl wall coverings. The second floor is home to locker rooms, offices, and an expansive high-ceilinged open area with views of the river. All the drywall work there was done by TASS. TASS was involved with the Bergen County Rowing Center's construction from its early concept and design through to the finished structure, which is truly unique and extraordinary. It's also built to stand the test of time, as well as the floodwaters of the mighty Passaic. Uh, it's absolutely wonderful to see the finished product. Um, we typically leave right before the paint and everything's 100%, so it's really cool to see everything done and put together. Mm -hmm.